All right guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how you can get more than 1000 frames on some games and how to get maximum frame rate on any game that you play multiplayer. And this will be really good for the new PC gamers. Like, you know, if you just got a PC and if you're trying to get maximum performance of your PC and if you play games like Rainbow Six Siege, Valorant, whatever game that you play, you will get maximum frame rate by just one click. Okay, You don't have to mess around with any setting. You don't have to do any kind of complicated stuff. Just do one thing and you will get maximum frame rate. You can see my frame rates on Minecraft and I'm not even on a high-end PC and you will be having maximum frame rate on any game and that will be by just one click, just one setting and that will be it. So yeah, no further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so before I begin this video, I want to tell you guys one thing and that is going to be this thing uh, you should only do on competitive games like Rainbow Six Siege, Counter-Strike or any other game that you play multiplayer. Like, you know, uh, I do not recommend you to do this on any game that is like, you know, story based game, campaign game, because on those games, you need to have at least 60 FPS. You don't need more than that just to play those um games so yeah let's begin all right so for this guys you need to have nvidia geforce experience and i'm not quite sure how to do that on um amd gpu since i don't have one so what you gotta do is you're gonna have to have the geforce experience and then before you click on play from this app or software you're gonna have to go to details and then you're gonna have to um go to the setting of that game and i know a lot of you guys are thinking that you have the settings in the game but no um nvidia geforce experience have more settings that you have on your game so let's suppose they're like maybe like five more settings that nvidia um geforce have that your game is not gonna have so you're gonna have to click on this setting and lower the bar like you know the slider to performance and then apply to it and again geforce experience have more settings that the games does not even have let's suppose minecraft does not even have that much settings that geforce experience have and once you have lowered the thing, like, you know, uh, once you have slided the thing to the performance, you're going to have to um, click on play. And then your game is going to be starting with the lowest settings with maximum resolution. So I'm just going to wait until the game starts. And you guys will see my um, frame rates on the game. And I usually get like uh, on lower setting I'm talking about, okay? On 1080p, on lower settings, I get like 500, 600 frames. But with the NVIDIA GeForce experience, I will be getting more than that. I mean, obviously, because... Um, the, like multiple settings on geforce experience and um, i know you guys might be wondering like how does that even work so let's say there's um less interlacing settings on minecraft game but there's like more about that in geforce experience i'm just giving an example i know it's not something like that exactly but just an example for that so now the, uh, my game is loading and you guys can see uh my frame rates are i can't see because i'm um I'm on Premiere Pro right now and the screen is pretty low and I can say it's like 700, 800 and now you see it went up to 1000 and I know render scale is really low. You can increase the render scale if you want to. You will be still getting the maximum frame rate for that render scale. So let's say if you go to like um, 8 render scale, like you know the chunk scale, you will be getting better frames. So I'm just going to do that. I will go, um, let's say um, 4, let's try on 4 and you see I'm still getting like more than thousand frames and uh, you, you could go up to like 16 or something like that and you will be getting the maximum frames and believe me guys on minecraft on game like minecraft it does not really matter about the graphics i mean it does matter but it's a game uh, made of pixels so what worse uh, you could do like it's gonna be the pixelated game anyway and the game is still looking good i'm getting more than 800 and even thousand frames on this game and i know the surrounding is not that much but still you will be getting maximum frame rate just like that so now let's jump into rainbow six siege and again it will be same for every single game and i want to say one thing that um this will be the best thing for a new pc gamer like you know if you just bought a pc and if you want to get maximum frame rates on any game instead of messing around into game settings because that is hella confusing i know that so you can just go to geforce experience Go to this setting and lower it to performance and there you go within few seconds you will get the best performance of any multiplayer game that you play it will be same for valorant um counter strike uh call of duty and every single game that you play and uh, yeah so now let's see how the rainbow six siege um works for that
All right, so now we're in a Rainbow Six Siege game. I'm in a custom game and you guys will see, I will get the maximum frame rate that my PC can give me for those settings. And this will be best setting. And again, I'm saying this is really good um, setting. This is really good thing for a new PC gamer because they don't really have to mess around with any setting on the game. They can just like, you know, simply slide it to the performance and they will get the maximum performance. And you can also do this on your own PC. Like, you know, if you're um, playing on a PC a lot, I mean, it's just a thing to uh, do the game settings really quick. So you see my setting. I'm just going to go to option. And that bike was horrible. And you see the texture quality is very high. And if I put it on medium, everything is low. It's it's just the best thing that you can uh, get on the game for maximum performance. And the game is not looking that bad. It's still looking really good. And uh, maximum frame rate. What else do you want? Right? So this is the video guys. This is how you can get maximum frame rate on any game and some games more than 1000 frames just like uh, Minecraft and I think it will be same for Roblox because I haven't played that game though but still so I hope you guys find this very useful if you do make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more uh, computer videos tech related videos gaming videos how to get free games on PlayStation on PC and stuff like that and I will be making more tutorial videos just like this and uh, yeah I will catch you on the next one peace out